We've got four projects ongoing with the FAA right now. First one is our expansion of Lycoming six-cylinder engine approvals. We're going to add in the turbocharged Lycoming engines as well as pick up some of the other models that we hadn't done previously. That's all working its way through the FAA as well as we're adding in a mag timing housing. A mag timing housing is an alternate trigger mechanism for the ignition system, different from the crank trigger wheel kit that we had approved originally. Second project that we've got in with the FAA is a ignition switch panel. Airplanes typically have a rotary key switch which have known maintenance failure histories. Some of them have AD notes, which are airworthiness directives, all kinds of things. And we found it might be simpler to just create our own ignition panel, one for the magneto that's on the airplane, one for the electronic ignition, and then a push button starter. Really simplify the whole, the whole switchology and system of how to control the ignition systems. Third project that we have in with the FAA, actually the FAA is helping us with it, is doing our EASA approvals, which are the European approvals for our ignition system. Currently our systems are just FAA approved for consumption in the United States, or actually for use on November registered or US registered aircraft. EASA has their own set of rules that we have to comply with and the FAA helps us navigate that, uh, that set of rules so we can get European approvals. And lastly, our big project with the FAA is the addition of helicopters to our ignition approvals. We're doing six-cylinder engines first because that's a little bit more of an acid test case and then we'll add four-cylinder engine helicopters after that. Different set of rules on helicopters than aircraft, different uh, requirements as far as vibration, uh, where you mount stuff, that sort of thing. We're really excited about that project. That'll pick up all of the Robinson helicopters as well as the Enstroms and the, and the Schweitzer helicopters too. Don't know in the helicopter world what we're expecting to see fuel economy wise. That's always one of the big sales points of electronic ignition systems. However, what the feedback that we've had from helicopter operators, their big issue is reliability of magnetos. Helicopters just shake violently compared to airplanes and they wear out the magnetos faster. And also starting issues, which we should be able to help with a lot. The next big thing from ElectroAir is the development of a replacement kit for the Bendix Dual Magneto. Now the Bendix Dual Magneto is a single drive dual ignition system that was used commonly in the 1970s on four-cylinder and six-cylinder Lycoming engines. We've had a system in place in the experimental world for a long time, but our big hurdle for the certified world has been the development of a single magneto that would replace the dual magneto. We've begun that project. We look at it to wrap up both the four and the six-cylinder engines, probably about a one to two year project. This will lead naturally into us developing our own magneto line, and we're going to do some things differently than what are done tra in traditional magnetos. Uh, we're going to hop up some power out of the coil. We're even going to see if we can't provide a backup generator source from the magneto as well. Some other little tricks that I really can't talk about. After that, once we get that done, I am pleased to announce that we've decided to move ahead on an electronic ignition system for radial engines. So the Pratt 985s, uh, some of the Jacobs engines, all of those motors. There is enough of a fleet of radial engines still in use, flying for a living as well as for pleasure, that makes a good business case for that. We're forecasting probably about a three to four year project for that particular item to be done.